Hello everyone. So today I'm finally going to make a video testing out how well the APX slide serrations work under slippery conditions because if anyone's watched the Military Arms Channel's video on the APX torture test or elsewhere, there have been reports that the slide serrations, while they work really, really well when they're dry and and when there isn't something slippery on them, when you expose them to water or something else, that the slide serrations get pretty slippery. I would like to test this and create sort of a, uh, a video recording my own personal experiences with these. Beretta claims that these slide serrations were designed specifically with gloved hands in mind and with the idea that you would be able to get reliable purchase on the slide anywhere along the the slide surface. And when it's dry, that absolutely works. You can grab from anywhere on the slide and pretty much with any grip and get very good purchase on the slide. However, when it's wet, um, Tim from the Military Arms Channel, when he was putting his um, APX into the bucket of water inside, he was having trouble grabbing the slide like this and wrapping the slide. So today I'm going to try that and try a number of other methods of manipulating the slide to see where it fails, where it succeeds, and just how big of a deal this might be. And this might be particularly relevant for people who on slide lock reloads don't use the uh, slide release or slide stop to uh, move the slide but instead rack the slide like so. So we're going to see that and we're going to test. So to do this test there are a few basic points of order. I've picked out a set of potential slippery objects to work with. I've picked uh, two basic types of gun oils. So we have ballastol here. Ballastol is an emulsifying mineral oil based lightweight gun lubricant that includes a bit of a cleaner and because it emulsifies in water, I'm interested to see how that works. Additionally, we have Breakthrough Clean's High Purity Oil, which is essentially just straight up pure high grade mineral oil. This would be like a baby oil or USP mineral oil or something like this. That's about the same thing. And this represents about as straight up a gun oil as you can find. Then we have, since it's a Beretta, I figured we'll go to Italy and do a little olive oil. We also have an olive oil based um, mixture for, uh, this is a hair serum type of product, so it contains a lot of different types of oils thrown into it, designed specifically for hair serums and other things, so it's pretty slippery. We'll do coconut oil, which is a thicker, thicker type of oil that is solid at room temperature, and then we'll pick some soap and see how, how that works. So that'll all work out pretty well, and we're going to go in order from the ballastol to the soap. So the soap's going to be our last one to work on. And with each of these products, we're going to follow a basic procedure. We're also going to test it in straight water first before we do any of the oils. But we're going to test dunking it, coating the slide and everything. We're going to test can we lock the slide back to the rear. And then after we lock the slide back to the rear, can we drop it? with the slide release and can we drop it by racking the slide and then I have a magazine with snap caps in it and we're going to load in the magazine try to rack in a round and then try to rack in all the rest of the rounds and see if we can successfully eject those rounds into our little ejection bucket here and that'll be our process then we'll reset reload the mags uh, dunk the pistol rinse it in water and then try again and we'll see how it goes so shall we get started so now I'm just going to start playing around with this and we'll see, we'll see how it goes. I have not done this before. Uh, I've done a little bit of preliminary testing with the water just to see if it was worth trying to do with it. And I think uh, it was worth playing with. So we're going to try it and see how it goes. All right. So water first. Uh, make sure the whole thing is clear. We're just going to dunk it in. Ooh. Going to let it sit. And so this has been oiled with ballastol, and if we see, grabbing it like Tim grabs it, it does have a tendency to slide a little bit. It's a little more slippery than usual, right? 
Uh, however, if I grab it with an overhand rack, it's still perfectly possible to lock the slide to the rear and work with it. So if I grab it using a different grip, I find that I have almost no trouble manipulating the slide. It is a little bit tougher, right? So let's get to a slide lock. I can drop the release, I go back up there, and I power stroke. I can still do all of that, but it definitely will feel a little bit more slippery. So let's see. So I racked one in. All right, so that seems to work okay. Not a big deal. You are gonna feel it a little bit more. It's definitely a little grippier, uh, or it, it definitely slides a little bit more on you. So that's something to keep in mind. But uh, let's see, I sent those rounds all over the place. So let's go grab those real fast. Okay, so now let's try it with the ballastol. I'm going to have to try to aim my shots a little bit better next time here. Okay, so now with the ballastol, take it, give it a little drizzle. Come on. There we go. So we've got the ballast all over it. And here, again, grabbing it like this, it's going to be pretty slick. Pretty slick if you've got it all soaked in water. I find it pretty difficult to grab. I have to grab from the front if I'm going to get a good grip on it. I, can, I find it difficult to grab from the rear. I can still drop it from the slide lock, but to really get a hold of it with the ballast all, that's pretty slick. Yep, quite difficult to grab. So I'd have to stick to running it from the front if I wanted to do that. So let's try racking one in. Just gonna grab it and so I can do that, I can manage that. It's a little rough, but it's doable. Let's try racking this in. Let's see if I can do it this way. Yeah. So for me, I find I have to grab it from the front to get a really good purchase on it. I can grab it from here and do it, but it would be pretty difficult. So that's pretty good. Let's let that rinse off and try some more. Okay, whoa, water everywhere, water everywhere. Let's close up the valve stall here. Dry my hands and let's move on to the olive oil. Or let's go to the high purity oil next. So let's Spray it all down, get it all coated. This is a little easier than the ballast doll. I find the ballast doll is really pretty slick. This is a little bit easier to manipulate. Yeah, so I can actually get a grip and get it to move. It's still pretty difficult. I find it easier to grab from the front than it is to grab from the rear. So I can grab it here and manipulate it, but grabbing it from the back and standard Power stroke is pretty difficult. If I get my palm on it, it works out. But the uh, the the high purity oil is definitely a little bit easier to grab than the ballastol. I think the emulsifying with the water results in a really super slick mechanism. Uh, I don't know what exactly it would be, but yeah. So if I grab it here, I still find it easier to grab from the front at the nose to lock it back. But let's try dropping the slide. The slide release again works fine. Grabbing it from the rear to do the uh, um, to pull it back to lock the slide to the rear is quite difficult. 
Um, yeah, I find it definitely, it's definitely much easier to just grab from the front and run it that way. Now from here, dropping the slide, you can grab from the front. I can also grab from the rear and it doesn't seem to affect that function. But now racking the rounds out, I would find you, you slip pretty easily on it. So again, I probably would find it easier to go like that. And that seems to work okay. But yeah, so grabbing from these serrations here, they work for normal function, but you're, you are going to have trouble really getting it, getting a full cycle on it if you're not careful. All right, let's put it back in. Let's give, let's try the next one. We have olive oil. So, so far I found the ballast all to be absolutely the most slippery by a far margin. Okay, so let's load these puppies up. And I realize that we are contaminating all the possible mixtures by putting them together. I'm not going to be that picky. This is just an illustration of how the slide serrations work when wet and how to work them. Um, I have thought about maybe testing this with some gloves. Um, you know what, maybe I might do that. Uh, can you go grab some gloves out of the glove box? I think we'll try, we'll try it with some gloves just to see, just to see if that makes a big significant difference. So some cotton gloves or something like that will be fine. Um, so we'll get some cotton mittens. Just go grab the mittens out of the box. No, Erin, I put them away. Oh. oh grab them. So we'll grab them from the closet. And then let's test, we'll move on to testing the olive oil. And should be interesting. Oh. And I am noticing I'm getting a bit of a blister running the slide this much. It's quite a lot of work. We've got some gloves incoming. Okay, well. Yeah, just a cotton glove will be fine. Uh, no, just one of your pull, one of the pull-on knit gloves. So, yeah, that'll work fine. Yeah. All right, so let's. Let's try with some of these pull-on gloves. They're kid sized. They're kitty sized, but should should shouldn't affect it too much. So yeah, that makes a huge difference. So even if the glove is saturated, with the glove on, there is zero, zero hesitation in terms of running the slide. I can I can run this slide very easily with a few fingers using a glove. There is absolutely no problems if I use a glove and run this slide. So there may be something to say that the, these slide uh, serrations were designed with gloved hands in mind versus the standard ungloved because I have a lot more control using glove, even soaking wet, than, than I do in all the other cases. So let's keep going. We're going to try the olive oil. So let's get some olive oil, pour it all over this thing. Whoa. I guess it might also be called uh, fire clean if you're into that. All right, so again, very slippery, probably about as slippery as the ballastol. I find it, again, I get the most grip from the front. Um, if I dig in my nails, I can get a purchase. I can grab from the rear edge of the slide. That's interesting. So if I use the rear edge of the slide as a ledge, that also works. Um, 
overall. Yeah, so I could get the slide lock from the rear of the slide using the, the sights. I can release the slide. Oh, it's very difficult to release the slide. I can use the slide release. Again, that doesn't cause any problems. Um, and running from the front also doesn't appear to cause any problems. Let's load our snap caps in. I can, I can run that, but it's very, very slippery. Very slippery experience. Whoop! Lost one in there. Let's do it this way. That's one way to do it, I suppose. That works. So, yeah, um, I find it easy. The gun responds best if I grip it to the front when it's wet. And now let's try the next one. Um, but also grabbing from the rear sight also works. And with the glove, it seems to work really well. So the glove seems to make a huge difference in how grippy these um, serrations are when you're actually using them. So let's try, I think I'm going to, I feel like we've done enough oils. I'm going to skip the olive oil one, and I'm just going to go to the coconut oil because I'm interested to see how that does. So we're going to take this poor gun out, get a coating of, oh, that doesn't look pretty. All right, and that is, yeah, that's, that's extremely slick when you run it. Definitely I can still run it if I use my other techniques. Um, I can run it from the front without any problems, just grabbing it. Um, but I do have to get quite a, a grip on it. I have to be pretty secure. The slide release, actually, I am really surprised, given how little texturing is on the slide release in this, these contexts, it's, it is very easy to use the slide release to drop the slide uh, in these conditions. So let's take our mag, and if I'm trying to rack one in from this position, I, if I did it fast, maybe, but yeah, there we go. That works better. Um, so yeah, I, I would just grab it from the front, and see if we can rack them in. Yeah, uh, definitely it's the only real way I can do this is grabbing it from the front of the slide. All right. Oof. Now we've really got ourselves a mixture here going in. So we're going to move on to the soap and see what happens when I put the soap into this whole mixture. So let's load up our So so far a heavy dosing of coconut oil has been the absolute worst in terms of slipperiness and the gloves have made a huge difference in terms of running them. So actually I'm going to put the gloves on again and just see how that coconut oil, because the coconut oil is a little thicker, I'm going to see what happens when I run the coconut oil through that. So and really get it coated on the, the glove and everything. And these are kitty sized gloves so they're a little small. But yeah, again, that, that slide release works very well. Coat this up, including the glove. Yeah, no, I've got total control of the pistol with the gloves on. So if you're using any kind of shooting glove, these serrations work really well. If you're shooting barehanded and everything gets slick, then it can get a little bit more iffy, um, clearly. It would help not to pinch the glove. But yeah, with the glove on, it's it's basically like, almost like there's no uh, lubrication on the gun at all. It just it stays as grippy as, as anything else. So that's an interesting thing to note. Now, let's try soap. So I'm going to put some soap all over this thing. Oh, ho, ho. Okay, uh, 
Well, the soap is getting rid of the consistency of the coconut oil and replacing it with pure slip. There it is. Okay, I've got a little bit of grip still, but like grabbing from the front, grabbing from the rear, very, very slick across the board. I can still grab, yeah, I can still grab with the rear slide serrations, but at this point, just grabbing it from the front seems to be the only real way to manipulate this guy. Uh, you grab from the rear as well, but that's even getting a little bit tight and tough. So yeah, grabbing from the front makes a huge difference there. But again, that that slide release seems to work really well. Can I... Yeah, so I can drop it. If I grab anywhere in the front, grab it really hard, and give it a jerk, like one of those strong strokes, uh, that, that works out okay. I can still do that. Let's try to chamber around. Yeah, so that works. Went into battery fine, but then doing any work, and my hand's getting a little tired here now, but doing any kind of work on the rear of this grip from this position is going to be difficult. Um, so, looks like your only real options are to grab from this rear or just, yeah eject the front. Yeah. Even that, yeah, as your hands get tired, that gets pretty difficult. There we go. But it's not not impossible. Let me try with the gloves on in this condition. Just to see. Now with other guns I've tried, like the PX4, the, the gun gets slippery when it's wet, and it doesn't have anything in terms of usable serrations when, on, when it's wet from the front of the gun because the serrations are so small. Same thing with the Glock. The Glock serrations are pretty slick for me. Even, even when dry, I find the Glock serrations pretty, pretty slick. But um, one of the advantages that the PX4 has is that if you have those bat wing levers, it's very easy to grab the slide and manipulate it by just using uh, no friction grip and just using those levers to pull it. Even though the, the serrations themselves aren't very grippy, the, uh, yeah. So we have, again, zero problems once we have the glove on. Uh, the glove solves all that problem. So, I would say that um, the gun still actually feels pretty firm in the hand, so I'm not too worried about that. Everything else seems to work pretty well. But if you have bare hands and the, uh, the slide serrations get really, really slick, then uh, you might have to use a different stroke in order to, or a different way of gripping the gun in order to cycle the slide. The slide release continues to be extremely easy to use, even with bare hands, the gripping like that. And if it's just water or something like that, you can still get a pretty decent grip and it's not so bad. But anything more than water, if you get a really slick oil or something like that, gets pretty, pretty gnarly. Um, but the slide release works. Um, racking a round into the chamber with a gun slick like this, I would probably either do a rack off of the, uh, the rear slides or I'd just grab from the front and just do that. That works just fine as well. So the, the gun isn't out of operation by any means with the slide serrations wet, but I suspect that some people will find other serrations work better for them in really wet conditions. I, I haven't tried coconut oil with other guns, but the coconut oil is really, really slick. So that might be interesting. And the soap, if you get soap just on this gun all over the place, it gets pretty slick, um, hard to manipulate. I, I don't know if, uh, how I would compare it to other guns. Other guns that have more protrusions sticking out will be easier to manipulate. So maybe the VP9 that has those wings might give you something to hook onto while you're racking. Um, so yes, these serrations can get slippery uh, if you're working them, 
they're, it's pretty slick, but I don't know that it's uh, necessarily a bad trade-off, in my opinion, looking at all the other ones, playing around with the other guns. The slide serrations with gloves are absolutely functional. There's almost zero real effect that any of the slippage would have with gloves and these serrations. And the serrations themselves are so usable under all other conditions. Uh, I'm, I'm tempted to say something to be aware of when you're looking at the gun, but I'm, I'm not too worried about it, given that the serrations are otherwise much more functional than a lot of the other serrations I've found. They let you manipulate the gun very easily under all the other conditions. When it's really wet, the, there are the two ways, the three ways I would make sure is using that slide release is going to be pretty reliable versus the other options, uh, which is contrary to what you read about in, in some doctrines. They say that you know the most reliable is always going to be power stroking it, especially if you're wet or something like that, and you can't easily get a grip on the gun. I think under really, I think it would still probably work under most conditions, but the slide release is going to be a little bit more reliable when the wet happens. The rear sights work out pretty well uh, as, a, as a serration to grip, grip onto and grab and pull if you need to, and the front of the gun remains perfectly usable, and you have that whole, so what you do is you've, you've got the combination of the short serrations up front, a, a fairly usable serrations up front, but also the front of the slide, and so you can actually grab both of those and get a pretty good purchase off the front of the gun, uh, even with that radiusing that you see on the front design of the gun. It works very well. So um, either of those options will work great for racking the slide. I know some people are uncomfortable with putting their fingers too close in front of the muzzle uh, under those conditions. Uh, I guess it depends. Uh, so, yeah, but that should give you a perspective of how the APX operates and works under these conditions. Uh, can get slippery when wet, works great with gloves. Absolutely zero problems with the gloves on. And the, uh, the there are, it, it's, uh, the gun doesn't go out of service if you, it doesn't become unmanipulatable if, if it gets wet, but it does become a little more tricky, so if you have one of these and you want to use it, you probably should make sure you're aware of that and train to deal with that under conditions. So anyways, uh, I hope that was thorough enough for everybody, and it should give you an idea of how the gun performs, and thanks, it was a lot of fun, now I've got to go clean this gun. Thanks, bye.